Hi, in this Tips and Tricks HQ tutorial, we will take a look at how you can add a PayPal payment button to your WordPress sidebar using the free and simple WP Express Checkout plugin. Many bloggers have started to sell products to earn an income from their readers or followers and advertising these products or services on a static sidebar ensures that no visitors to your website miss what you have on offer. Using the sidebar of your website is also a useful way of selling items that relate directly to your blog content. Let's jump onto my WordPress test website now so I can walk you through the process of creating a product and then adding it to the sidebar using a widget. I've landed on my WordPress website where I've already set up some PayPal payment buttons on my website's sidebar. So you can see that I've got a pacifier holder for sale and a diaper bag for sale on my test baby website. So someone could come onto this website, they might be reading through my blog content and they'll see that I've got a pacifier holder for sale. They read the short description, they like what the pacifier holder looks like, then they can see the total is $13.95 which includes their shipping and they'll go ahead and purchase Bunny now by clicking that payment button. The PayPal pop-up window appears where they can choose the quantity that they'd like to purchase. They can choose from my variations. They can pick between pink and blue, and then they can pay with their PayPal or debit or credit card. I'll run through a quick sandbox transaction now so you can see what it will look like on your own website when you set up some PayPal payment buttons on the sidebar. So I'll quickly enter in my password. They can edit their shipping address if they need to. They'll choose what they'd like to pay with. They'd scroll down and click pay now. So what I really love about the WP Express Checkout plugin is that it ensures the customer stays on your website. So that's really important if you are using things like AdSense because it keeps the customers on your website, viewing your content, viewing other pages. So after that successful transaction of that pacifier, I was directed to the thank you page on the website and my transaction was successful. And in the back end of this website now, the admin will have my shipping details so that they can ship out that pacifier directly, directly to me. So you can see how quick and simple that process is for a customer to check out with an item you've created and put on your sidebar of your website. Let's take a look at how you can create your own product and then put that on the sidebar of your website now. So I'll just head to the back end of my website. So I'm now in my WordPress dashboard and I have that WP Express Checkout plugin installed and activated on my site. If you don't yet have this free plugin, you'll need to head to plugins and add that plugin there. So you can install that directly from your plugins menu by just searching WP Express Checkout. So as I mentioned, once you've got that installed, you'll see that menu. Head on to that settings menu first and just set up the plugin. We've got previous tutorials on setting up the WP Express Checkout plugin if you need to. So once you've set up your plugin, you'll be able to head straight to that add new product menu and that's where we're going to create a product. So whether you're selling a digital or physical product or perhaps a service, you can achieve that with this plugin. So let's click on that add new products menu. We'll head there and we'll need to give our product a title, a description and a price. So I'll just recreate another baby item to add to my sidebar. Um, so that'll be the third one that I'll be adding to my sidebar. I'll go ahead and I'll give it a title and a description now. So this time I'll be selling a baby spottle wrap. I've added a title, I've added a short description. Let's make the price $19.95. So I've added that. If you are creating a donation product, so a button where you'll be collecting donations, perhaps from your readers, you can click that allow customers to enter amount and you won't pop a price in there. So if you're allowing your customers to enter an amount that is more for a donation product. So then they can enter in, they want to donate $5, $10 and so on. So mine, I've got a set price, it's $19.95 for my swaddle. Let's scroll on down. Here you can add variations for a variable product. So um, the color before of those little bunny pacifier holders, that was a variation that I had added. I'd added the variation color and I'd added two options there. I won't run through variations in this tutorial, but you can read about variations on our WP Express Checkout website. 
Quantity by default is one for this product, but you can allow customers to specify the quantity if you want. So I'll let my customers specify as they might wanna buy one for a friend as well. Scrolling down, you might need to add in shipping, $10 shipping for this product, and you might like to add a tax percentage in. Make sure you mark this as a physical product if it is a physical product so that you collect the shipping details that you'll need at the time of checkout. Download URLs can be put in here for digital items. That's important if you are selling a digital item that you actually pop in the URL of your product so that the customer receives that after a successful transaction. So product thumbnail, I'll select my image from my media library. I've got my swaddle wrap there. Let's insert that in. Perfect, that's in there. And in the appearance related section, you can change what the button actually reads. Buy swaddle today. So that's added in there now. And I'm very happy with everything I've added about my product. So I click that publish button. Once you publish it out, you'll see that short code up the top. So each product that you create will have a unique product short code ID. This one is 907. So I'll copy that short code. So I've copied that short code now so I can move on. Let's now add this to my website's sidebar. So to add anything to your sidebar, you need to go to appearance and then click on widgets. To be able to add something to your sidebar, you will need a theme that allows for a sidebar. So I'm using 2016, which does allow for a simple sidebar. So just use a theme that allows for a sidebar, otherwise you're gonna run into trouble trying to do this tutorial. So I've added my custom HTML. So you'd simply grab your custom HTML, available widgets. If you haven't dragged it across, it'll still be here. So if it was here, I just drag that up there. I'll show you how. See, it would be there and you drag that to the sidebar like so. So I've got my previous two short codes add it in there, I'll enter down. So those two short codes were those two products that I showed you at the start of this tutorial. I've just entered and I'm going to paste the short code of the product I just created. So if I leave this short code as is, it'll only have the product button. Simply add the template parameter, template equals one in to add those further details about your product, which included that little thumbnail image, the description, title, and the product buy now button. So then I'll click that save button and that'll implement that change to my sidebar. Let's head to the front end of that website now and take a look at that product that we've just created and added to the sidebar. So there we are. I've got my first two products that I created previously and then here's that baby swaddle product that we created together. So you can see it's got that PayPal purchase button there, buy swaddle today, and someone can click on that button and there pops up the PayPal window where they can check out using their debit or credit card or their PayPal account. So that's super simple for your customers to do. Let's take a look at how you can change the appearance of how these are displayed on your sidebar. So I'll head back to my dashboard. If you go to WP Express Checkout and you click on that settings menu and you scroll down to the area that says checkout form, if you click this to disable that, showing a pop-up mode or window, it changes the look and feel of those little payment areas for your products. So instead of having your variations in that pop-up window, they then show on the sidebar. So this works well if you only have one variation but if you are having a couple of product variations for each product, it makes more sense to have this enabled, which is enabled by default. So I'll just quickly show you what that looks like when that is disabled. We'll save changes there and we'll head back to the front end of my website. We'll do a refresh and as you can see, it then shows like this, which may suit your site better. That's why I was showing you because every site is different. And for some reason, you might like it to show like this, so the customer can just come here and enter in what they like there. So that pretty much wraps up how you can create the product using the WP Express Checkout plugin and then how you can add that short code to a widget in the sidebar area. Let's just take a look at where your customer's information can be found after a successful sale. So we'll head back and we'll click on the orders menu 
and it's here that you'll see all of your successful sales. So remember at the start of this tutorial, we purchased that pacifier. Well, here is the information about that sale. You can click on the description to view further information, including the shipping address. You can see who purchased it, the total, the date, and whether it's paid or it's incomplete. Then you can ship out those orders if it is a physical item. So that pretty much sums up this tutorial on how you can use the WP Express Checkout plugin to create a product and then use a shortcut of that product to add to a widget in your sidebar area, which then displays on the front end of your website nice and neatly next to all your website content. So my sidebar is static, which means it shows on every page. So no matter what page my customer clicks on, they'll always see the sidebar, which may lead to better conversion of these products as the customer is constantly seeing them. The more a customer sees a product advertised, the better the chance is that they'll click and pay for that product. If you have any further questions or queries about adding a product to your sidebar using the WP Express Checkout plugin, feel free to contact us.